I taught myself how to admire myself when I found myself always seeking validation from the outside. And you know, sometimes this happens unconsciously. You don't really know that you're doing it. And when the pandemic happened, I had time to really just like slow down. And I thought, wow, I really don't, I don't really look at myself. I'm not really seeing myself. And so I began this journey to begin seeing myself. And I'm so grateful I started that practice because now I can't unsee myself. I'm so aware of me that even when I get disrupted, I'm aware that I've been disrupted. I'm aware when other people disrupt me and I'm aware when I disrupt myself. And how do I get back to the me I know, to the me I see? I pause. Like right now, I'm practicing a pause and I'm absorbing all this sun that London doesn't really get. And I'm just assessing myself and remaining present. I used to think that when I finally understood being present that I would just automatically be present all the time. Being present is a practice. Being aware of self is a practice. Loving on, seeing, caring, being considerate of yourself is a practice. That's not something you wake up and it's just boom, it's magic. This is an intentional choice and practice. So I'm real choosy. <laughs> I'm real choosy now. And you should be too.